Hello! So I thought for this week it would be a good idea to do another vlog and most of the reason for that is because I don't have anything else planned to upload this weekend. I do have another reading vlog that I plan on doing after I'm done reading my current book but because there are two books for that reading vlog instead of just one it is going to take me longer and I won't have it done in time. Currently I'm reading The Coward. This is a book that has been sitting on my shelf waiting to be read for over a year. It is the last book that I have not yet read from that first time I did a bookstore vlog which I think was like my second video that I ever uploaded so it's been waiting quite some time and I'm trying to move back more into fantasy now so I'm kind of dividing it up really between other books that I have to read. I actually made out a written list of the books that I'm going to be reading in order which I usually don't do. I usually don't do TBR lists like that but I'm doing it this time because there are some books that I just need to get read now and this is one of them. So far I'm like 150 pages in almost and it's okay. It's basically exactly what I expected. I do find it intriguing and I think that there are hints that it could get much better as the book goes on so we'll see what happens with that. Writing wise I finished working on my outline for book two today and I got book one paperback and ebook both formatted completely. I say that because you think you're done with formatting but you're never actually done with formatting. I realized earlier today, and this is something that seems obvious, I should have thought of it before now, but ebooks don't have blank pages in them. So for paperbacks and hardbacks you put blank pages in to make sure that certain things fall where you want them. You don't have to worry about that for ebooks. So I need to go on my ebook file and take out the blank pages that are still there from the paperback version because they don't belong in the ebook. So I'll have to do that but then after that I'm quote-unquote finished with formatting. It actually wasn't that hard at all. I did all the formatting in Word which I don't find to be that difficult. I know some people really hate using Word but I've used Word my whole life. It's what I write in anyway and I found it really easy to just format it myself. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks and I tried to then put the formatted Word document into Atticus, which is the formatting software that I purchased. I loved that it was a one-time purchase. I'm all about those one-time purchases. I hate these subscription services. And Vellum may be a one-time purchase as well. I don't know. I know Vellum is also a very popular formatting software, but the problem is that Vellum is only for Apple, only for Macs. And the last thing I heard, they had no intention of making a Windows version. I don't use Macs. I use a Mac at work. That's it. I don't like Macs. I don't want to use Macs. I've been raised on a PC for all my life. So I'm a PC person. It's just what I'm comfortable with. So I got Atticus. However, when I tried to put the formatted Word document into Atticus, it didn't import properly. It started making all sorts of weird mistakes and I tried to fix them, but I realized that it wants to compartmentalize things and put the front matter in specific sections within Atticus dedicated for front matter, whereas in Word, you just have it all there together and maybe that tripped it up a little bit. I don't know. It messed up my drop caps. It messed up the header, chapter header thing, which I really didn't have and it, it was just a mess. And then the image that I have with my chapter headers did not appear. Like you can upload images in Atticus obviously and I did that and it showed the image having been uploaded but on the preview for what it would look like in the print form or in, as an ebook there was no image there. So I don't know what the heck is going on with that. I may have to do more research into tutorials and such and figure out how to use Atticus but personally I didn't do any of that because I don't like doing that and uh, I didn't think it'd be that difficult. What I think I would do next time is just write the whole book from the beginning in Atticus instead of in Word because the moment you try to copy it over stuff seems to go wrong. So I may just write it in Atticus from the beginning and then obviously that would be far more easy to then mess around with the formatting from there. But I don't know. On the other hand, I feel like I'm very comfortable with Word. I've used Word for forever, as I said, and I just like it. That's why I use it. I don't use Google Docs. I don't use Scrivener. I know there's lots of people who do and who prefer those methods and that's great, but I'm d definitely a Word person. So either way, it doesn't much matter to me. It's formatted. It looks great. I am very happy with it. Book two's outline is done. So that means that I can start writing book two whenever I like. Maybe not today. Obviously, I have something I have to do for work later and not tomorrow, probably. I don't know. It's it's a mess. It's whatever. This is something that is really stressful, I think. It's like 
it's like a full-time job and I'm kind of really envious of writers who are full-time writers that was sort of me and now it's not me and I'm just trying to figure out that balance it's kind of difficult sometimes and also I'm just stressing out about a lot of publishing things you know you, you see other authors on YouTube who are published and successful this is not their first radio this is not the first book they're trying to publish unlike me this is my first book I'm trying to publish and they talk about things like arc teams and they send out their arc copies and I'm like I don't have an arc team maybe it's not that difficult to get arc readers I don't know I've not yet done that but just little things like that that I worry about like all these people when they say arc teams it implies that they have a dedicated team that gets these arc copies and then reviews them you probably have the same people applying for each arc you put out if they're fans I guess and obviously you don't have that when you're first starting up that's something you have to build up so me not having that I think sometimes I worry too much about it I put too much weight on it like I will get that I will get there it makes sense for me not to be there right now like that's perfectly normal don't worry about it but I get really worried about it and I don't think that I should be it's just when I think about all the things I still have to do in order to be ready to publish this first book it's overwhelming so I try not to think about it I try to take it one step at a time really I'm in a very good place it's just, you know, this means so much, you want it to go well, so I think that's where the pressure kind of comes from because nobody else is putting this pressure on me except me. I think the only other thing I wanted to say is you guys saw the snow. We had surprise snow on Monday. No, not Monday. Saturday. Saturday morning, actually, we had surprise snow, and that wasn't supposed to happen. Luckily, where I am, we only got like two to three inches. Some places got a lot more than that, so... That was fun and then last night it snowed just a little bit more that's all pretty much melted now which I'm very grateful for it looks pretty but when you have to go somewhere it's not fun to have to deal with and then of course it's way too cold too early I'm not liking this I forgot how much I hate winter I'm really trying to enjoy it for what it is instead of hating it for what it's not but I don't like being cold and that's a struggle so I'm trying to figure out options I'm trying to explore ways I can help that because my office is freezing and that's not fun to deal with so I'm trying to explore options but I'm glad that the snow melted today so I don't have to worry about trying to drive through it I think that's all I had to say for this clip so we'll talk more later I just got back from lunch as you saw. I did want to mention that the earlier clips that you saw of Kringles were because it was his birthday. So he is four years old now and he got some presents. He got two stuffed mice and a jingly ball which he really loves. So that's nice. I'm happy for him that he loves it. We tried to let him open up his own presents like he did on his birthday last year but he didn't really seem too interested in doing it. I think he's a little leery of opening presents. He attempted to open his Christmas presents too early last year so I guess if he feels like he wants to open his presents he should just get to open them. I don't know but either way it was his birthday. He had a fun time I think and 
lunch was very good. I'm very happy with it. And I'm now going to go read What Little I Have Left of The Coward by Stephen Aryan. And then once that is done, I can move on to reading the rest of the books on my TBR list that I made that I usually don't make. So I'm going to go do that now and I think I'll end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching you guys. If you enjoyed feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!